Hey, what is up guys? Kill the Relentless here, back again with another Bio Mutant video. In this video, I'll be talking about all the general perks in the game and which are the most useful ones, where every build slash class should get them, which general perks are more beneficial to other builds slash classes than others, and which ones you shouldn't even bother taking at all. If you don't know what general perks are, they are basically perks that are not exclusive to any of the five classes of the game, which means they can be unlocked by any of the five classes. Alright, we have a lot to cover, so let's get on with the video. Number one, which are the essential slash every build should get kind of general perk. So these perks are a must have for any type of build. You should consider investing your upgrade points in these perks early in the game if you can, so you can have an easier time achieving the type of build that you are going for, as it'll make the game much easier with these perks. The first one is lock out. Your loot chance is increased by 10%. This is the definition of a general perk as it will benefit mostly any class so I would suggest unlocking this early in the game as it will increase your chances in finding rare weapons slash armor in the game early on. I will say that people who will want to go for a crit chance bonus build where they focus on increasing their luck will benefit a lot from this perk as you will have double bonus loot chance both from this perk and from the increased luck stat. The second one, plating. Add-ons to clothes and equipment have their armor value increase with 25%. This perk sounds really, really good. If your clothes and equipment have more than one add-on slot, that's a 50% increase just with two slots alone and 75% if you have three add-ons. That's insane. Definitely a must-have perk for any type of build. The third one, Key Energize. Use after a successful special attack to replenish some of your key energy. This general perk will be really useful to almost every build as your key energy is used for all kinds of combat action. All special attacks, psi powers, and mutations cost energy to use, so this perk will really help. The only way I see this perk not being as useful if the type of build you're going for is straight up just using normal attack. Which isn't fun in my opinion, but hey, if there's a build that's OP like that, I'm looking at you sharpshooter abusers. <laughs> Just kidding. Who knows, right? The fourth one is adrenaline. Your health regen is increased by 40% while in combat. I feel like this would be a really good survivability perk no matter what type of build your character is going for, as basically your character won't die after getting three hit by a boss if you have, you know, just decent armor. Just go in circles for a bit with the enemy and then your health increases by 40% since you're still in combat. This perk should be a must have for any type of build. Next, we have the general perks that are focused on range type builds. You're going to focus on using your range weapons to attack the enemy. These general perks are a must have. The first one is perfect reload. Attack weapons are instantly reloaded when you press a button and it increases the damage dealt by the next magazine ammo by 20%. If you didn't know, it is actually the starting perk of the Deadeye, but it's actually a general perk, so you can actually use it for other builds as well. It's really good, especially with pistols, as pistols usually have less magazine ammo than most other guns. But yeah, Perfect Reload is a really good perk, especially for range type builds. The second one is Clip Tech. Range weapons can fire 20% more shots before needing to be reloaded. This perk will have awesome synergy with both dual pistols, rifles, shotguns, normal pistols or any type of range type builds that you're going for. Again, I'd also like to mention that it will be really useful for builds that only use one pistol for example as pistols usually have less magazine ammo so this increases the amount of shots you need before you have to reload if you want to go with that kind of build. A good perk set example on the top of my head would be the Deadeye Quick Reload class perk with the perfect reload general perk that we mentioned earlier and this clip tech perk and you're basically just raining shots 24-7. The third one is trigger tech. Range weapons have their reload time reduced by 33%. This is a good perk to pick up on range builds, but I will say there is a similar perk called Quick Load for the Deadeye class, but from the looks of it, Trigger Tech would be the better perk for now as it has a 33% reload time reduction instead of 25%. So I suggest picking up Trigger Tech instead of the Quick Reload from the Deadeye class if you are picking out of the two as it has 33% instead of 25%. The fifth and final one is Gunsmith. Ranged weapons have their attack damage increased by 15%. Self-explanatory, this will be a really good perk for ranged weapon type builds with a bonus attack damage to your gun. Are you liking the video so far? If you are, please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more Biomutant content in the future. Also comment below which general perks have you decided to pick up for your class and build and why. Alright. Now we go to melee weapon focus general perk. There is only one and it is wet. Melee weapons have their attack damage increased by 15%. 
Again, self-explanatory, this will be a good perk for melee weapon type builds with a bonus attack damage from your weapons. Most melee weapon perks aren't in the general perks category and are class specific, so if you want to go a more melee weapon focused type build, consider either going Saboteur for a rogue assassin agility focused type of build with its perk. And if you did pre-order the game, go for the mercenary class as they have bonus attack damage class perks that they come with. Also invest in your strength stat to increase your melee damage. Get them gains. Next we have the more situational general perks, so you usually want to pick these perks out depending on what other small aspects that you want to work on and basically it's just up to you about how you play the game you'll see what i mean the first one is charmer your chance to persuade in dialogue is increased by one point if the type of build you are going for won't be investing in any charisma bonuses i say this perk will be helpful early if you want to trade and barter a lot with npcs however i don't believe you will need this perk if you go to for a build that uses a Murgle as they have the best barter stats out of all the breeds and a one point increase doesn't really sound like a lot. Second one is a combination of both Wung Fu Wonder and Wung Fu Barrage. Unarmed attacks inflict 20% more damage to the target and successive unarmed attacks increase unarmed damage by 3% up to 5 attacks. Again, these are really situational general perks as builds that require you to use unarmed combat a lot will be the type of builds that will benefit with this perk. If you don't think you will be doing any unarmed combat or very minimal at all i suggest do not take these two perks as they are very situational and the very last ones are the most useless and probably you shouldn't bother at all type of general perks these are just my opinion so just keep that in mind the first one is mount mania so basically your mounts have a five percent increased movement speed i feel like this perk doesn't really sound useful as there will be different mounts in the game and i'm assuming there will be some mounts that are faster than others I don't really see the benefit of getting this perk. Also, 5% increased movement speed does not sound like a lot to me at all. Or maybe I'm just dead wrong, and if you get this perk, your mounts grow wings and fly you off to the horizon. Who knows? Second one, I still find kind of iffy, but it is Toy Tinkerer. Your automaton's weapon inflict 100% more damage. I was debating whether to put Toy Tinkerer in more situational perks if you want to use your automaton turret ability a lot the 100 more damage does sound nice considering we have that other class perk called sharpshooter but i feel like the turret wouldn't be a good source of damage regardless so i think it's better to invest the upgrade points into something else but at the end of the day how you play and how you have fun is up to you and those are all the general perks that any class can unlock. Which ones every class slash build should get, which ones only specific class slash build should get, and which ones to just never even consider taking at all. I've been playing Biomutant for a few hours now and it's been a lot of fun exploring the vast world. It's been a blast and I can't wait to play more of it after I edit this video. Anyway, did you like the tips for the general perks? If you did, please make sure to like and share the video and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Biomutant content in the future. For small channels like mine, it'll be really appreciated. This was Kale, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.